Uh, guys can't believe that it's it's this easy. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. This is a little trick that's going to blow your mind. This, my friends, is a graphite crucible. It's essentially carbon mixed with uh, clay and some binders and stuff. This makes a crucible. So with one of these cheapo crucibles, I just bought, ordered this off Fleabay for, I think it was almost free 99. They see lots of casting videos on the internet. And of course they got the big setup and the huge propane, you know, the big blower and the, all this stuff. For most of what you're gonna cast, unless you're doing engines or something, it's gonna be, it's gonna fit in the palm of your hand. So you really don't need that setup. I'm gonna show you, and, and you can use this in the field, it works great. So if you never cast anything and you wanna get into it, this is the cheap and simple way to do it. Here's some aluminum billet from the homeless death spot. And it's, yeah, it's just cheap crap, but hey, it's gonna do the trick. So we put it in our graphite crucible. Now I have a graphite base. Uh, you can buy that on Fleabay too. You don't really need it. And also these are just welding electrodes graphite uh, gouging electrodes that are broken up and made a little shield. You could do this with a fire brick or nothing at all. It just goes faster if you have something that wicks the heat or blasts the flame back up, you know, around. And for the mold, no big deal. Just a, a metal receptacle and dimethicone impregnated sand, magic sand you buy from from the toy store and dimethicone of course so this is in the same family as silly putty and also the stuff that they put in uh, chicken mcnuggets yay it's an anti-frothing agent and yes it's in just about everything uh, it's allegedly inert so when we when we mold it and then jam molten aluminum in there nothing's gonna happen so let's just pretend we're in a dilly of a pickle and we need a little aluminum gear now because this is electrically conductive as well, all we need to do is hook up the welder, the stick welder, and then stick the side of this, it'll get red hot in no time, melt the aluminum, Bob's your auntie. However, we're gonna go even simpler than that. I'm just gonna use the torch. Propylene here, it's a little hotter than, than propane, but if you wanted more BTUs, you just get a bigger nozzle out of the propane and away you go. Now, I got some secret ingredient here, just a pinch. It is plain old table salt. If you had it, you could use the salt substitute instead of sodium chloride, uh, it's potassium chloride. It's allegedly better, I have no idea, I've never used it. But that is just for degassing, so you don't get as many entrained bubbles. Of course this is a liquid, it's going to have some air bubbles, and then you don't want those in there when they solidify. Now interestingly, there is some mystique involved with melting metals and getting stuff red hot. Uh, guys can't believe that it's it's this easy. I just got a little inert stir and stick here, some borosilicate glass. You could use wood just to carve the dross off. And the dross is the oxide. Now in aluminum it's interesting, the oxide melts at a much higher temperature. So what you'll see is this will start to sag away and there'll be a carcass, a skin of dross left over. Of course we don't want the dross, the aluminum oxide, in the, uh, in the part as little as possible. So we're going to skim it off the top. Of course there's a lot of other ways to do this, inductive heaters, kilns, forges, all that sort of stuff. What we're looking at here though is minimum viable. You can see it's starting to melt away here. That's just the salt, that flame is just the salt. Look at that. Or a prune like. So that's the dross on the exterior and the center is melting away. The reason it does that, of course, is because the dross, as I said before, melts at a higher temperature. And that's why TIG welding aluminum is so difficult, because you've got to melt through that dross layer, that oxide layer, before you get down to the good stuff. Now why you are dying out on me, it's almost like a bag of aluminum there. And we'll keep whopping the heat to her. Now 
watch this. Just touch it and deflate that bag of dross. Now it's completely melted and it's in the crucible. You can see that it's a real interesting material. Just pull the dross right off. Okay, getting her nice and hot. Pull the gear out of the mold. Have a look at the mold. Doesn't look that bloody hot. Now we'll redo that. And that is the beauty, my friends, of using magic sand. Okay. Now this is interesting here, if you look at this, see how divoted that is? That's actually because the material, the, the aluminum has shrunk and it's pulled in. Cheddar! And there you have it, aluminum casting. Not good for much else other than decoration, but hey! Not bad for a, what, five minute casting process. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vise.